In today's cartoon story joke, get ready for a comedic whirlwind as Stan's routine vasectomy appointment takes an unexpected turn when his brother and sister-in-law burst in like characters from a daytime soap opera. It's a tale of sibling antics, parenting pressure, and one unforgettable punchline that will leave you in stitches. Before we unveil the comedic climax, let's sprinkle a dash of historical hilarity onto the proceedings. Ah, the colorful history of vasectomy. It's like a wild ride through the annals of the reproductive innovation. Turns out, our ancestors were pioneers in the field of DIY birth control, whipping up potions and rituals that would make even the bravest warrior wince. Picture this, ancient texts from far-flung lands like India and China detailing methods that would make your toes curl. Hot oil baths, anyone? And don't even get me started on those special plant and mineral concoctions. Let's just say, they weren't exactly a walk in the park. Now, fast forward a few millennia, and we find ourselves in the early 20th century, where the concept of vasectomy was just starting to gain some ahem, traction. Back in the 19th century, scientists were still scratching their heads about how tadpoles and eggs even got together for a little rendezvous. Talk about being late to the party. Enter Dr. J.J. Bruckner, the maverick German doc who decided to take matters into his own hands in 1823 with the first recorded human vasectomy. But let's be real, it wasn't until later that folks really started to take notice. Back then, Vasectomy wasn't just about family planning, it was like the ultimate tool for population control, with some uh, questionable ethics thrown into the mix. Thankfully, we've come a long way since then, folks. Today, vasectomy is the go-to option for those looking to hit the pause button on parenthood. It's safe, it's effective, and it's provided us with enough awkward dinner party fodder to last a lifetime. So, here's to modern medicine, making family planning a whole lot less, um, uncomfortable. Cheers. Now let's cut through the awkwardness like a knife through butter. Well, you know, and dive straight into this side-splitting joke. Just as Stan is about to take the plunge into the world of vasectomies, his brother and sister-in-law storm into the room like characters from a daytime soap opera, their faces a mix of panic and urgency. You'd think they were about to foil a bank heist, not interrupt a routine medical procedure. Stop right there. You can't do this, his brother bellows dramatically, as if Stan is about to sign away his soul instead of just getting a simple snip. Perplexed, Stan raises an eyebrow and quips, and why, pray tell, not? His brother, clutching the newborn baby like it's a winning lottery ticket, launches into a passionate plea don't you want to experience the sheer bliss of fatherhood someday? Like my wife and I are currently reveling in? He gestures toward the baby like it's the holy grail of parenthood. Stan, in his typical poker-faced manner, remains silent, internally debating whether this is a sitcom or real life. Growing increasingly desperate, his brother implores, Come on, Stan, I want to be an uncle. Make my dreams come true. Stan, with a mischievous glint in his eye, turns to his brother and teases, Are you absolutely positively sure you want to be an uncle? His brother nods vigorously, practically bouncing with excitement. With a sly grin, Stan winked at his brother's wife and then drops the bombshell. Well, congratulations, dear brother. You're already holding your future nephew. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.